Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the pressure switch in your washer, unplug the power cord. Use a number two square bit screwdriver to remove the mounting screws, securing the bottom of the front panel. With the screws removed, slide the panel down and pull it out to detach. Next, remove the mounting screws securing the side panels to the main top. Lift up the lid and use a flathead screwdriver to help detach the latch assembly. Lift off the bleach dispenser cover and use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the screw securing the dispenser. Depress the tabs to release the dispenser from the main top. You can now lift up the main top and support it. Depress the tabs on the pressure switch to release it from the rear panel. Disconnect the wire connector. Use pliers to help release the retaining clamp securing the water pressure tube to the switch and pull the tube off. Install the new pressure switch by first attaching the water pressure tube and securing it with the clamp. Connect the wire connector to the new switch and snap the switch into place on the rear panel. Remove the support and lower the main top. Confirm that the pins in the side of the panels are aligned with the holes in the top. Snap the bleach dispenser into place. Rethread the screw. Replace the cover. Next, secure the latch assembly in the main top. Thread and tighten the mounting screws to secure the top. Replace the front panel by inserting the panel tabs into the slots in the side panels. Push the panel up into position and replace the mounting screws. With the repair completed, plug the power cord back in and your washer should be ready for use.